In this tutorial, let's take a look at creating our existing walls to have more detail. Up until this point in our modeling, what we have done is we've actually used generic walls that just represent the wall thicknesses that we needed from our AutoCAD background. So now in this video, we need to kind of move forward with that. And we don't know in an existing building exactly what the interior wall composition is. However, we do know our exterior and our interior finish. So the way that we're going to model this project and make our revisions to these exterior walls is actually just go ahead and modify the wall types that we've created based on the generic walls of different thicknesses and go ahead and just apply the finishes that we need. We're going to leave exactly how much masonry or insulation that occurs within the wall outside of it. We're just going to give a generic wall type there. So the first thing I want to do just for my 3D view even is to turn off let's go ahead and just turn off the AutoCAD backgrounds since we're done drafting at this point specifically in this view just gives us a cleaner 3D view to use and then I want to come to my first floor plan and actually I'm going to repeat that one more time for this view just to get my AutoCAD backgrounds out of the way for right now alright let's just zoom in up here and take a look so I'm going to select on on the wall we have here and now I'm going to come over to properties edit type and I'm going to click on edit structure because we created these walls specifically for this project and with the intention of coming back and further detailing the walls we do not need to duplicate because we've already created them now here the first thing that I want us to do is we're going to leave the structure as it is as we talked about leaving that generic but it's important the wall thickness that we have is currently 16 and a quarter inches so what we're going to do is let's insert the materials that we need I'm first I'm inserting a material and I'm after that material has been created I'm just going to use my up button to push it above my core boundary so this would actually be my brick on the exterior side and we'll create one more we're going to insert another layer and I'm actually going to move that down on the inside of my core boundary to be that interior finish so let's go ahead and specify these two finishes on the exterior one let's start here as far as the function we're going to change that to our finish we'll finish one on the exterior side we're going to give ourselves a material I'm just going to type in brick in my search box and click OK for that as far as thickness we're going to give ourselves a thickness of I'm going to round this to two and a half inches and I'm going to pull up my preview just so that I can see what I'm doing as we as we make these wall modifications so now we see the brick on the exterior face and then let's select interior finish and we're going to change that function to finish so that it cleans up well and then I'm just going to type in my jip board and we'll select that material and I'm just going to use half inch it allows me to easily be able to round okay we're adding three inches of finish to this wall type so I need to take those three inches out of this generic structural component so that we maintain the 16 and a quarter inch total wall thickness that we started with I do want you to maintain your wall thicknesses it'll just allow your walls not to move on this particular modeling project where we've already created generic walls that represent the thickness so we do want to maintain the wall thickness as I can zoom in a little bit you now see the wall construction as we have it and I think that this is pretty accurate for what we're doing here where the this is an existing building and the generic piece of the amount of insulation and masonry and airspace that can that this wall is constructed of we do not know so let's click OK and I'm just gonna apply this here we could take one more step to to just rename it It 
existing exterior wall, 16 and a quarter inch. It's no longer just generic. We can rename it. And now if I zoom in, you'll begin to see the components that we've added. If I come up to view and just change this to thin lines, you'll be able to better see that jip. Otherwise the bold line work just kind of makes the jip board invisible in the interior surface. So that's how you go about doing that. I mean, I'm going to repeat process and do this one more time. I'm just going to rename each one of these existing wall 20 and 20 and a half inches edit structure once again click on core boundary insert a layer above it this will be our finish one once again pick the brick that we want the thickness once again we talked about two and a half inches selecting our core boundary inserting another layer that we're going to drop below the core boundary so that it is the interior face finish one search for our jip wallboard give it a half inch thickness we see everything looks fine here in the preview we've added a total of three inches let's make sure that we take that out of the structure so that we do maintain the twenty and a half inch total wall thickness that we wanted here click OK apply it and now you can see that we're beginning to increase you know the detail to our walls so that they're representative both for being able to come back as we come back you'll see that we're beginning to build the detail that we need that our exterior surface is more representative of what we have seeing the brick and the interior finish is as well as we move forward to rendering and so forth so you'll have several wall types that you'll need to come back and modify in this similar fashion but this will help you set up what you need as we move forward with both the exterior and the interior renderings where we'll want to represent our faces properly as well as as we move into creating the window families and things that we need. I hope this video is helpful for you.